This was no ordinary Miss Mesopotamia. It was like, it sort of set the standards for all beauty pageants and competitions for centuries to come. Yeah, it was a tough competition. Girls sort of clawing and sort of backstabbing, like on American Idol or Top Chef or something. It was brutal. There were categories, blondes, brunettes, big girls, little girls, underage category, right? <laughs> and this is before the political correctness and the statutes of limitations that we have today, let me tell you. Esther had her work cut out for her, all right? Factoid, all right, here's where the story gets really, really interesting. No one knows this, but Esther's uncle Mordechai, who idea, whose idea it was to enter her in the pageant to begin with, he had a close friend who lived with Esther and Mordechai, whose name was Mark, spelt with a C at the end, M-A-R-C, right? <laughs> And they lived all together in this little house. As a matter of fact, Esther was adopted, right? And about 20 years before the story takes place, Mordechai and Mark took a sort of mystery trip to Korea. And the story they gave out was, you know, they were looking for knickknacks and spices and whatever. They came back with a little baby girl named Yoon Lin, who they later renamed after Mark's Aunt Esther. She had a famous lingerie business in Persia at the time, Esther's Secret, actually. Wow! I need a drum, I need a drum, but I'm bum for that one. Okay, sorry. And so whenever you see pictures of Esther, right, you see like beautiful ancient paintings of Esther, she has like, you know, almond-shaped eyes and pinstripe hair. Korean, right? I mean, you know how hard it is for a Jewish girl to keep the frizz down in the desert? It's all that humidity, it's really hard. Anyway, um, Mordechai and Mark had a booming decorating business called the 2M's Interior, and everyone who was anyone in the Middle East wanted a Mordechai and Mark environment. Um, these gentlemen knew everything about hair and makeup as well. Let's face it, who's gonna have better accessories than a grown-up Korean baby with two daddies? So Esther won, and she became Queen of Persia. You can only imagine how happy the Jews were and the Koreans, 